right, good morning, everyone. Morning. Welcome to the Memorial Day Parade. Give yourselves a round of applause here in the city of Aurora, a city second to none. We are excited to be here today on behalf of the city of Aurora, Aurora's Veterans Advisory Council, and all of those who worked so hard to plan today's events. Thank you for coming out. Thank Muhammad, your master of ceremonies, for this part of the program this morning. We're going to ask all of our guests to please rise for the presentation of colors, the Pledge of Allegiance, and the National Anthem. Again, can all of our guests please rise for the presentation of colors, the Pledge of Allegiance, and the National Anthem. Color Guard, parade the colors. Our color guard is provided by the East Aurora Naval Junior Reserve Officer Training Corps. The NJROTC TC unit is in its 18th year and the largest in the United States of America with almost 1,000 student cadets. The unit's drill team and color guard accomplishments are seven-time Area 3 state champions and they reached the Navy's national competitions in Florida for seven years, capturing the current 2014 national championship in color guard and armed exhibition. The drill team overall was awarded second place in the nation in Pensacola, Florida last year. Today's color guard participants are carrying the American flag, Cadet Master Chief Petty Officer Angie Rodriguez, carrying the Illinois flag, Cadet Master Chief Petty Officer Jennifer Cepeda, carrying the right rifle, Cadet Master Chief Petty Officer Maria Gonzalez, carrying the left rifle, Cadet Senior Chief Petty Officer Cassie Reyes. Ready? Please. Join me in welcoming World War II veteran Dom Thompson to lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. Good morning. Please direct your attention to our flag and say the pledge with me. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. We will be led in the national anthem by 12-year-old classical crossover tenor, Sheridan Archbold.
please stay standing as we welcome the pastor of Warehouse Church to lead us in our invocation, Pastor Randy Shoup. Let's pray. Lord, we say thank you to you for all of your good gifts. And our Father in heaven, we thank you most of all for the gift of life. On this day, we remember that freedom is not free. It comes at the great cost of blood and of life. Lord, thank you for your great sacrifice for us that men and women and children could truly live. And uh, Jesus, you were the one who said, no greater love has a man than this, that he lay down his life for his friends. So Lord, as we solemnly remember and say thank you on this day, may we celebrate freedom and every good gift that you give. May your hand of blessing continue to be on the city of Aurora that you love so much and on all who live here and on this great event today. We humbly ask your blessing, for it's in Christ's name I pray. Amen. Amen. Please remain standing until the colors have retired. Color guard, post. Give another round of applause for the East Aurora and JROTC, the largest unit in the United States of America, National Championship Color Guard Team, and Armed Exhibition. Thank you, thank you, thank you. If you can, you may be seated. Welcome again to our Memorial Day Parade with the theme, In Memory of Many, in Honor of All. We are here today to salute the service men and women who served and who sacrificed and who made it possible for us to be here today. Let's give them all a round of applause. We can never thank them enough for their service, for their sacrifice, and for allowing us to stand here today. If you are a veteran or a current member of the United States Armed Forces, please raise your hand. Let's give them all a round of applause. Thank you, thank you, thank you for your service. We are honored by your presence and your dedication. We are joined by a number of servicemen and women with us on the stage. From World War II, we have a number of veterans here with us. Please give a round of applause. I would ask if they stand or wave their hand. Ms. Helen Rippinger, Mr. Joe Rippinger. Let's give them a round of applause. World War II. You heard from him earlier, Mr. Don Thompson. World War II veteran. World War II veteran, Mrs. Mary Warner. Absolutely amazing. And World War II vet, Mr. Dick Williams. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We are joined by a number of current military personnel. Sergeant Armando Lopez from the Marine Corps. You can please stand. Sergeant Joseph Salinas from the Marine Corps. Sergeant Emmanuel Rodriguez from the Marine Corps. And Corporal Ignacio Galindo. Staff Sergeant Pedro Velez from the United States Army is with us. Private First Class Elva Esparza from the Illinois Army National Guard is with us. And a World War II vet, let's give her a loud round of applause, Mrs. Mary Muth. 
Let's give her a round of applause. So many amazing individuals that are here with us in this amazing city of Aurora, Illinois. We have a dynamic leader who leads us into the state that we are in now, being one of the first class cities throughout this nation. Please join me in welcoming the mayor of this city, the Honorable Thomas J. Wisner. Good morning. Beautiful day, isn't it? Doesn't always happen this way, does it? It's kind of nice for a change. But I want to welcome you to Aurora's observance of Memorial Day 2014. Uh, and say how pleased I am to see such a nice crowd today. I may have to reintroduce myself because I have a slightly different look. I'm actually the mayor of the city of Aurora, and uh, my name's Tom Weisner, and I have my SPF 30 with me today uh, to apply liberally to my skill. So we're glad to be with you, and uh, I wanted to take a little time. Usually I try to do a little bit of history uh, on these events. And we have with us uh, the ladies who you were introduced to just a minute ago. And at the beginning of World War II, it was clear that every able-bodied, you're even questionably able-bodied male, uh, they wanted in combat roles. And so uh, women stepped forward and actually in the beginning volunteered in a number of different capacities with the armed services. Ultimately, the armed services uh, realized their value and actually integrated them into the various services. And over 400,000 women served uh, in World War II, uh, and they served in, all, in the many different branches, uh, but they earned Purple Hearts, they earned Bronze Stars, they earned Legions of Merit. Some were held as prisoners, and some died in the service of their country. And we have three examples of patriots and uh, women who have served their country so nobly. And I do want to just take uh, a minute to uh, reintroduce them if I could. And so we have uh, Ms. Mary Warner. She was uh, uh, with the US Air Force. Uh, she nurse for 23 years. And she retired as a lieutenant colonel. She served in Vietnam and elsewhere. Could, uh, if it's not too much trouble, could we ask you to stand one more time? We have Mrs. Helen Rippinger, uh, who was uh, a U.S. Air Corps nurse during World War II, served uh, our country in, in that capacity. Uh, her husband, Joe, I'd be remiss if I didn't introduce them both. Joe was an Air Force uh, pilot, and I think their son, uh, uh, Tom, uh, more recently was an Air Force pilot and unfortunately died in an accident. Uh, but certainly they've given their heart, their soul, uh, to our country, and they deserve your applause as well. And we also have uh, Mrs. Mary M Muth, uh, who uh, was with the, actually in the, the Navy side of things, I think sometimes called the waves, uh, but she served uh, uh, throughout World War II as well, and we wanted to acknowledge her great service to the country. I think Mary is 94. Are you 94? Yes. 94 years of age. And I thought you would uh, find this quote from uh, former General and President Eisenhower interesting as it relates to women in the service, uh, which was a very new prospect uh, during World War II. Uh, it's uh, basically when the formation of women's uh, units were first proposed, Eisenhower said, I was violently against it. However, every phase of the record they compiled during the war convinced me of the error of my first reaction. And I think that's testament to the service that women in general did and have done since World War II for our country, but particularly uh, the service of our, our guests here today. And we want to thank you once again, if we could. And so I just briefly, you know, Memorial Day, obviously implicit in that is remembering. And so how do we remember those uh, who have given their lives uh, in the service of their country? And being here is one of those, you know, putting flowers on the grave of a loved one uh, is, is also, there are many ways to remember. But I think I would suggest to you that the best way to remember those who have fallen and those who have fought to keep our country free 
is to remember those who come back alive and need help. And we know we're in that position or that situation right now. We read about it every day. Uh, there is much help that's needed. There are a lot of problems. Uh, and sometimes it appears there's not enough people or money to fix it. But if all of us do what we can, uh, then I think we, we are doing the greatest honor to those who have passed in our service uh, by remembering those who need our help today. So I, I would suggest that, and I would also just thank you so much for being here today. Enjoy the parade and enjoy your day. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, Mayor. We we'll also recognize World War II vet, Mr. Art Sheridan is here as well. We can give him a round of applause. Thank you, Mr. Sheridan, for all the great work that he does and continues to do here. We have a special poem by World War II vet, Mr. Dick Williams. Please give him a round of applause. Mr. Williams. Okay, let's see. The theme for this day, this commemoration, is in memory of many, in honor of all. This verse is titled the same. We ask, in memory of many, please respond. For every city, village, town, and hamlet has a bond with which to make this day. This day now set aside, this day now set aside for which, in which, of which, we give this solemn vow. In honoring our heroes, in honoring the ones we know, we honor all. For all that the wars we've fought has answered freedom's call. You have the given right to do much as you please. The fallen to whom you give honor, rest with ease. This day was first proposed in 1862 to honor fallen heroes wearing northern blue. For many years, it was known as Decoration Day to decorate grave markers with a bold display. But World War I proved that this day was worth much more commemorating all those who died in any war. The solemnness of this occasion is not lost when we look back in time, figuring the cost. This day became Memorial Day with ample pride, commemorating those who died in any war. Today we thank all those in uniform, as well as all those who have served in any storm. But let's back up a little. Well, a little slightly different ground. If we are the reason you are here, turn that around. We wouldn't be here but for you. Make no mistake. Parades are made by numbers, numbers which you make. 
Okay. You've had your three-day holiday, but having fun is not the reason you are here. In honoring our heroes, you yourself have praise. You show your patriotism here in many ways. In memory of those to whom you can relate, you honor all. You honor all those gone before on any date. You decorate the markers. Love and praises sound a patriotic gesture for their hollow ground. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Dick Williams, veteran from World War II. Absolutely amazing. Thank you so much, Mr. Williams. Very profound. As we prepare to conclude this part of our ceremony and get ready for the parade, we'd like to welcome back for our final musical presentation, the 12-year-old Fina. Classical crossover tenor, please welcome again, Sheridan Archbold. better than that. He's 12 years old. 12 years old, Sheridan Archibald. Bring in the spirit for Memorial Day, what it means to be here. So proud. Thank you, young man. One more round of applause. Let him hear your love. This is our future. And that means the future definitely is all right. Thank you so much. Everybody's ready for an encore? 
Do you have it on? Do you have another one? Let's go one more time. We have just another minute, and we can do something really brief, and we'll get ready for the parade. Once again, off the cuff, Sheridan Archibald. Again, Sheridan Archibald, keep the applause going. It's Memorial Day here in the city of Aurora. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We will begin the parade shortly.